All right, so here we go again. Another handheld from Ambernick, the RG35 XX. I don't know when they're gonna come out with that triple X with Vin Diesel up on there, but uh, this is the H version. That's why it probably sounds familiar. Just a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, we looked at the other one. This one's the H because it's a horizontal handheld. This is their uh, budget fella. We got a 64 gigabyte version here. This came from gogamegeek.com. They sent it to me for purpose of review. Um, yeah, these things, man, I, I, I like some and I hate some at the same time. It's just like, I'm not against options. You gotta understand, I'm just not. Like Ambernick makes awesome stuff, but it's like the releases, holy crap, dude. Like they're preying on people who just like nonstop gotta have them all, man. I don't know, dude. Like, I've heard from some people who buy, like, every single one of them. Uh, some people are just like, which one should I get? I don't know, man. They release so many of them. It's like, you got to find one that uh, suits your needs. So this is more of a budget one. So you're going to be limited on what you could play, uh, in a sense. Like, it's not going to be the most powerful system, but it may be able to play a bunch of stuff that you like. So it's just kind of like, yeah, take a look. Price points, uh, compatibility, stuff like that. I do usually prefer the horizontal handhelds. This one's got uh, some pancake cheeks on the back. You know, I do like my handhelds to have some uh, nice little butt cheeks to have a good grip. This is more of like, hey, I set it down and it's not gonna like slide away. It's not really a grip of a cheek there. It's pancake cheeks. But let, let's go through this real quick. Um, it's going to be very similar to the other one that I just reviewed, but let's see what they included on this 64 gigabyte build. Uh, 11, whoa, there's 11 games. On the other one, they had nine PSP games. So this one's got 11. We got a handful of stuff here, but it is going to be hit and miss depending on what you want to play. But let's, uh, what the hell's balloons? All right. Let's, let's try God of War this time. I'm trying to change it up. Nice little handheld, your L and R's up top, OTG, USB-C, HDMI out, nice. A random button right there, I think that says F, the F button. Two uh, micro SD card slots, volume rocker right there, power button, and then an R button on the side. So this is surprisingly playable, um, not perfect, but it's it's not like doing that stuttering Stanley nonsense. So yeah, or graphics like I've seen where like, especially right here, like the boat will like pop in and out and there'll be like jacked up graphics. This is looking okay, looking okay. Maybe not like 100%, but definitely playable. I mean, you you be the judge with your own eyes, but it sounds good. A little Tekken 3 for PS1. PS1 runs on everything uh, and it's gonna run extremely well here. The build they included, the games are ripped properly. They have the music they're not like missing the music like a lot of these builds are so yeah you're gonna have a good time playing some ps1 games up on this thing little uh game gear alest here looking pretty good playing some game gear games on here of course these are gonna play fine on this hardware uh, but yeah this this is pretty cool so i think if you hit the function button yeah you go to exit game save load state uh, you could change scan lines, the brightness. So you, you have a few uh, options. If you go to RA game, retro art game, you have some icons here for uh, everything and probably more games maybe. Oh, you got DS on there? They're actual games? Yeah, there is. Cool. So you're going to hit the uh, L2 to change the screen, the full screen for the top screen, or to have both the uh, top and bottom in one place. And then you could hit the R2 to change the orientation around. 
Pretty cool. Didn't realize we had a DS games on here. Oh, we got some ports as well. What? Oh yeah, we, we looked at Super 3D Noah's Ark in the last video. A little Wolfenstein action. Oh, I thought that was somebody over there. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, it shows uh, we actually have a Thomas Wave and Naomi on here as well. For real? Oh, let's try Dolphin Blue. This game struggles on a lot of devices. Oh, wow. I notice on a lot of uh, emulation devices, the character like will be missing some of the graphics where he's holding the gun. Like it'll be clear in the middle of his body, but this is uh, looking fine. Surprising, it's actually running very well. Oh. Okay, so yeah, that's a good sign. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. For Naomi, let's do it. Controls are jacked up. The bottom buttons are punch. But you could you could change that. Pretty sure if you yeah. You hit the uh, function button, you go to RetroArch, you could change the controls in there. Hey, this 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 is running decently well. So yeah, it looks like up to like Dreamcast, Naomi, uh, you know, Thomas Wave, you may have some luck playing uh, quite a few games. Oh, oh crap. But there you go. Let me know what you guys think. A little budget handheld from Ambernick. Not bad to have options, but it is crazy how many of these damn things they make and, you know, put out there every freaking other week. It seems like there's something new. Hey, you don't have to buy them all. Hopefully uh, this video helped with your decision making uh, you know, handheld requirements. Bye.